got here? This is a wild mushroom blend. The mushrooms will come from all over the world, basically. Mm -hmm. Macedonia, Poland, Russia, right. South Africa, or China. Uh -huh. Is there a reason we buy them from abroad? Is they more prevalent over there? Basically, people's knowledge in this country to harvest the mushroom without harvesting poisonous mushrooms is pretty much non-existent. I've come to the West Sussex woods to meet a mushroom forager called Jeff. Okay, good, good. Right, so we're off to look for some? Uh, we are off to look for right, some. Right, where mushrooms. do we go? Down there? That way. Let's do it. Off to you. Sorry. <laughs> Meanwhile, Kate is in Suffolk to meet a large-scale mushroom farmer who supplies to the supermarkets. Ah, hello. I'm hello. Kate. Oh, hello, Kate. I'm David. Do you grow mushrooms here? Yes, there's plenty of mushrooms to see here. Brilliant. Can you show me? Yeah, we'll go and have a look in one of the rooms. Excellent. Yeah. Yes, down here. There are thousands of mushrooms growing in here, and it's definitely very dark. So are these the wild mushrooms the customer helplines were talking about? Do you farm wild mushrooms? No, no, we only grow these ones. Well, these are cultivated mushrooms, and obviously we, these are predictable, so we know when these are going to grow. With wild mushrooms, you never know when they're going to grow. Is it possible to farm wild mushrooms? No, they only grow at certain times, and the conditions have to be right. So you can't guarantee to have them all the time. So I don't know of anyone that farms wild mushrooms. So the mushrooms that I might find in a soup like, like this, chunky wild mushroom soup, where can I find these mushrooms? Well, the people who make the soup must have been out in the woods, I guess, looking for them. <laughs> Back in the West Sussex woods, it's now up to me and Jeff to find some properly wild mushrooms. How long have you been um, foraging then, Jeff? About 25 years. Right. I'm getting more interested in um, edible plants and eating yeah. roadkill in the uh, more recent years. Nice. <laughs> so what do you think we'll find today? I'm hoping we might find some St George's mushrooms. The St George's mushroom grows around springtime. Foraging for them is best left to the experts. Eating the wrong mushroom can be fatal. But Jeff and I are having trouble finding any. Well, it depends uh, roughly that way, I think. Two hours later, we finally find some of these elusive wild mushrooms. Here we go. Is this, this right? Yeah, these are St George's mushrooms. Oh, we've got some big ones as well. What's... Yeah, that's amazing. Is that normal? It's normal for St George's mushrooms to go in rings. Most wild mushrooms are parasitic. They need a living tree to act as a host, which makes them very hard to farm. This mushrooms that you can see are just the fruiting body that uses to reproduce. The adult fungus lives underground. Uh -huh. It's like a, a web of cotton wool. Each year it grows six inches bigger as the filaments underground yeah. find new nutrients. And more importantly, they taste fantastic. And you can smell them now, can't you? That's a real kind of wild mushroom. Uh, unmistakable, unmistakable smell. That. That's a St George's mushroom. Mm. Mm. I love it. That's that beautiful, earthy, wild mushroom flavour that you can only get from a forest, I guess. Wild mushrooms have a complex relationship with host trees, so no one's yet worked out how to cultivate them on a large scale. But with so many wild mushroom products, how do the producers get enough to go into all their foods? To get to the bottom of this, I've got access to a company who supply wild mushrooms to the UK's leading food manufacturers. Hello, is Nathan around? Is that Nathan? Hi there. Hi. How you doing? Matt. Hi, Matt. Nice to meet, Good you. To meet you. You're the mushroom fella? Yes. So to speak. Um, good, because I need to know a little bit about mushrooms. Right, I can have a look around your factory if that's all right. Anything we can do? Brilliant. Where do we go? What do we do? Well, so, actually, we're going to need to get coats and things. That's all right. They're all here. In there? Yeah, yeah. Okay, fine. All right, the tarp. They're all here. Yeah. Beautiful. Even for me. Yeah, you don't, do you? <laughs> really? How <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> you want to wait there? All right. I'll grab some out. What have we got here? 
This is a wild mushroom blend. The mushrooms will come from all over the world, basically. Mm -hmm. Macedonia, Poland, Russia, right. South Africa, or China. Uh-huh. Is there a reason we buy them from abroad? Is there, are they more prevalent over there? Basically, people's knowledge in this country to harvest the mushroom without harvesting poisonous mushrooms is pretty much non-existent. Right. It's something that the Eastern Europeans grow up with. They have secret places that they don't tell anybody else about. Right. Um, and they take the mushrooms back to a hub where they'd be frozen yeah. and then transported. So there's an industry here to be had, but we just don't have the knowledge. There is an industry here to be had. And, and we're finding now that uh, the Polish are coming to the UK and harvesting our mushrooms. Really? Yeah. So I've got this, right? Wild mushroom soup. Would these be in my soup? Uh, obviously not in a frozen format. Mm. We've got some dried mushrooms we can have a look at. Where'd you keep those? Upstairs. Right. Should we go have a look? Can we have a look at that? Yep. OK. I want to find out which wild mushroom is in my soup and how much is in there. So here we've got morels. Yeah, they are the most expensive, around 12 95 for 50 grams. That's kind of like a medium-sized handful, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, reasonably, reasonably okay. large hands, yeah. Right. What else have we got? The sep. It's still a very good mushroom. Yeah. It's a lot cheaper, not because it's poorer quality. Mm -hmm. um, in fact, it's got a more intense flavour, but it's more readily available. Right. OK, so what do you think is actually in my packet of soup? I've got, it doesn't say, it just says dried wild mushrooms. There's 0.9%. No. I would imagine porcini or set. For what reason? The set would enhance a soup without having to put too much in. Right, OK, OK. Can I have my um, packet on your table? Please do. But you're thrilled I came along. OK. Yeah, there's little bits of... Looks like bark. Yeah. Is there anything you recognise? It could be the porcini. Right. Um, there is some cultivated mushroom in that soup, apparently. It's not a lot, to be fair. It's not a huge amount.